morning, everyone. <coughs> Welcome to St. Aloysius Parish on this second Sunday in ordinary time. <coughs> A warm welcome to all of you joining us here and from your homes, and to our celebrant this morning, Father Joe Sullivan. Readings this morning will be found on page 134 of your Sunday Missal. I invite everyone to stand for our opening hymn, number 630, Holy, 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 630. Thank you.
Almighty and ever living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, You are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations and my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here, Here I, am, I am, Lord, I come I to do your will. Your will. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. When I said, Here I am, in the scroll of the book it is written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. <coughs> See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O oh Lord. Here, Here Lord. I am, Lord, I come to do your will. St. Paul to the Corinthians. From Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and from our brother Seleucus, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
And a really big loss was her. She brought it home, and we did use it on a few family occasions later on. But it happened just in time. So the baptism of Jesus at the River of Jordan, which they John the Baptist speaks of to his followers in today's gospel, was a moment when the world was changed forever. Jesus was revealed as the second person of the Trinity, God's Son. And as the Spirit descended upon him, and the voice of God called from the heavens. And at the same time, Jesus was revealed as the suffering servant from the reading of Isaiah. At the same time, besides, there were many numerous things that suggested very strongly that this man that people were seeing now is Christ, he is God, God. So Jesus was revealed as the suffering servant in the reading from Isaiah, who we have heard about in that first reading. And God's instrument for establishing a new world of justice and peace was in this very, very important era. So elsewhere in the Gospel, the Gospel tells us that John the Baptist didn't think it was necessary or even appropriate for him to baptize Christ, who was more powerful than himself. And besides, John's baptism required confession of sin, and Jesus was without sin. Yet Jesus insisted that he be baptized as well by John. He was baptized in solidarity with the people. Taking on the life of the people was the purpose of redemption. So John tells us that the Spirit not only descended upon Christ, but rested with him. And it's not simply the inspiration of a fleeting moment, it is something far more lasting. For John the Baptist, this was the sign that Jesus was the Chosen One, the Chosen One of God. Christ was the beloved Son of God, and he would be faithful to his Father no matter what, the rest of his brief life. So we too have his lasting presence through the Spirit. God, our Creator, continues creating through us and with us to bring about the fulfillment of God's kingdom. So what does all this mean for us today? As followers of Christ, we share the baptism of Christ the ministry of Christ, the death of Christ, and also the resurrection. And this means that just God, as God said to Jesus, you are my beloved. God is also saying to us today, you, Joe Sullivan, and the rest of your friends and parish today, all of you, and this is amazing, he says, you are my beloved. God loves us, he affirms us, and he has chosen us. So what does this all mean for our world? God loves each one of us personally, individually and globally, with an unconditional love. So, if each one of us is a beloved son and daughter, like Christ, that means that each one of us is the brother or the sister of all God's children which means every human being on the planet is our brother and sister. And whether a child playing somewhere in China, or a woman making breakfast in Brazil, or a goat herder in the Sudan, or a family in the Philippines, our children or children in Iraq, everyone is our brother and sister. So we're called never to hurt anyone. Once we enter into the spiritual life of baptism, we will not participate in the world's violence. From now on, we love everyone the way God loves us. We are God's beloved. I don't know if you watched the news yesterday from the States again in Los Angeles. There's a man who owns a business. And they show him with the hose, you know, directing the water from that hose on a poor, homeless woman. And he's 
No. He says they shouldn't be here. And people seem to support, you know, his condemnation of this poor woman. But if you or I were in L.A. last week, and if we saw this woman being abused the way she was, what would you do? What would Joe Sullivan do? So sometimes we just close our minds. We don't want to get involved. But we have to. Somebody has to step in and, and fight for what is right. It's a tough thing to see. It brings tears to your eyes. But that's the way we treat our elderly. That in the States, we just walk downtown St. Catherine Street any day, and you're going to see homeless in much the same situation. They're not tolerated. We're not looking after them. But if we really believe that, okay, everybody is our brother and our sister, maybe we'll take it a bit more seriously that the man love one another as I love you. And like Jesus, we are called to treat one another as God's beloved. Life is good and precious and wonderful. So why waste it on negativity, resentment, and cruelty? Instead, let us live out our baptismal promises and share God's love and peace with everyone, everywhere. Now, I know I mentioned it a few months ago that Sister Teresa of Calcutta, she was hosting a conference, and one American writer, newspaper person, asked her, well, you know, you do so much good work, you know, here in Africa, but what about the rest of the world where so many people are in need? What are you going to do with them? Sister was smart. She turned around, she says, don't ask me that question. I'm asking you, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's shut up. So anyway, what it's worth, just think about it. You know, we have to get involved. In our city, my job, there's so many abuses of the poor, of youth. We don't have enough homes for, the, for these children who are living in the streets, and yet we tolerate. Keep it in mind. But let's see what we can to do, do as a parish and as individuals okay, in our own communities. Okay, showing love. Just a little bit. We stand for our grief. <coughs> We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the elderly among us who are lonely, shut in or ignored, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For us, God's people gathered here, seeking healing and renewal in this celebration of the Lord's death and resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. <coughs> for those in our parish family and among our loved ones who are ill, suffering, or in convalescence, especially Carol Dimon, Shirley McCarthy, Clarice Mascarenas, John Henry, Bobby Squires, Maria Maloney, Trevor Cray, Jeannie Wayland, Mathilde Diaz, Karine Le Duc, Cyril Clément, and Piers Corsi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Recently called home to the Father, Mr. Larry Amiel, beloved husband of Linda. Mr. Hamill passed away yesterday, January 14th. May soul rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We also pray in a special way for these family, Felix Cross, <coughs> and for Marina Chansey, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own personal and private intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask Mother Mary to join us in our petitions. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, we ask you to lead us beyond indifference to the love of your kingdom <coughs> and to hear these prayers which we make for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The offertory hymn is number 570, Gift of Kindness, Street 570. Participate worthily 
can be in this meeting. For whenever the memorial <coughs> is sacrificed and celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. I am with your spirit. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom we made of all things, who you sent as our Savior and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to raise the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels, all the saints, we declare your glory and with one voice. We pray. Holy, holy, holy. Thank <laughs> you. 
partake, partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout our world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, our Francis, our Pope, Patriot, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in hope and resurrection. All of God in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Once again, remember our prayers. Peace, Charlie, Felix Brooks, and Marina Chanson. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and be praised and glorify you in your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, our right Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 <coughs> Amen, 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 amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days. The same to man, and for our provocation, we dare say it again. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Give us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For and the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, <coughs> look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, your church, and grace to grant us peace and unity to the of the world. Who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with us all of you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of that peace. Peace, y'all. Peace. <coughs> and may the name of the Father and Son of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. After the Son of Lamb of God, give the way to see the Lord's world. After the Son of Lamb of God, give the way to see the Lord's world. Grant us peace. The old hymn that takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who call to the suffering of the Lamb. Lord, I am not. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you all, above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. With your spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. So again, recession five, four, nine. <clears throat> 